In 2008, after a rough year for the general stock market and his fund, Punch Card Capital, which was down about 35.9% for the year, Norbert Liu was on the hunt for a business he thought could compound for many years to come. And in early 2009, he punched a hole off his investment card by buying stock in Burlington Northern Santa Fe, America's largest railroad. Much like his investment in beer company Quincer just a couple of years earlier, Norbert Liu felt that BNSF had quite a bit of untapped pricing power, having recently undergone quite a bit of deregulation and just general consolidation in the railroad industry. And Burlington Northern had the Buffett seal of approval, with Berkshire buying its first shares in BNSF in the first quarter of 2007 and continuing to buy right through till early 2009, uh, where it became an 11% position in Berkshire's US equity portfolio. Unfortunately, however, for Norbert Liu, later in the same year in which he first purchased shares in BNSF, the investment punch was actually stolen from him when uh, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway made an offer to buy BNSF outright, which was eventually accepted by the shareholders. Due to the unusual nature of how that deal was structured, however, Norbert Liu was actually able to benefit, uh, indirectly at least, from BNSF's success for many years to come, and he still generated fantastic fantastic returns from actually making that initial purchase into the railroad. This is the second video in a three-part series looking at some of Norbert Liu's best investments. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe so that you can see future content here on the channel as well. And be sure to check out part one in the series if you're interested in learning about some of Norbert Liu's best ever investments. Now, when Norbert Liu made his first purchase of Burlington Northern Santa Fe shares in the first quarter of 2009, uh, shares were trading at approximately $60 per share. And like I mentioned, for the past couple of years, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway had also been accumulating a stake in Burlington Northern. And uh, the price was actually lower than basically any price that Warren Buffett had ever paid for his shares. Uh, Buffett had been paying anywhere between about $75 to $90 per share and uh, assuming that Norbert Liu got most of his stake around that $60 share price he was paying about 11 or 12 times free cash flow which looked like a pretty modest price for an okay business that was actually looking like it was going to continue improving to become a good and potentially even great business and the reason I say that is they'd been growing revenue about 13% per year from 2004 to 2008 and uh, they were initially earning pretty low uh, free cash flow margins and returns on capital and Norbert Liu felt that there was a lot of room for improvement in both of those areas. Through that same period of time from 2004 to 2008 Burlington had also been buying back shares and it decreased its share count by about 8% through that period. So overall for Norbert Liu's investment in Burlington Northern you had growing revenue, you had potentially even faster growing free cash flow if they could improve the kind of margin profile of the business, you had a modest valuation, you had uh, pretty consistent share buybacks, you know good capital allocation. And of course, you had the Warren Buffett seal of approval as well. So all of those things led to the initial investment in Burlington. Now, Norbert Liu is typically someone who holds stocks for a very long period of time. He really does uh, kind of live and breathe that punch card kind of philosophy where if you were given a punch card with 20 holes in it and every time you make a new investment, you had to punch out one of those holes, you would think long and hard before making any particular investment and you would likely hold on to those companies for a long period of time. So to see a company like BNSF kind of snatched from him when Warren Buffett made the offer to purchase Burlington outright was a really unusual situation for Norbert Liu to run into. Now I've actually done a completely separate video here on the channel looking at some of Warren Buffett's best investments uh, and one of the three videos in that series was on Burlington Northern and I went into quite a bit of detail on the exact deal so if you do want to uh, see a more in-depth breakdown of the overall acquisition definitely head over and check out that video. Put simply, Burlington Northern Santa Fe shareholders accepted an offer from Warren Buffett to sell their shares to him at $100 per share. And the interesting thing here is that although Warren Buffett is typically a cash buyer of businesses, 
part of the consideration for buying these shares would actually come in the form of Berkshire stock. And shareholders in BNSF essentially had the option to pick either receiving $100 per share in cash or $100 per share in stock, although the caveat there was that if there were too many people that selected stock, they might not necessarily get 100% of that payment in stock. Uh, Warren Buffett didn't want to issue like an unlimited amount of shares here. He only wanted to pay for about 40% of the deal overall with, with Berkshire stock. But Norbert Lou did opt for as much Berkshire stock as he could get. And he ended up getting 92.5% of his $100 per share payment in the form of Berkshire stock and he got the remaining 7.5% in cash. Now unfortunately for us there's no way to see exactly the number of shares in Burlington Northern that Norbert Lou owned and the exact number of shares in Berkshire that he therefore received. Uh, that's because basically Norbert Lou was running too small a fund to warrant filing a 13F filing uh, until sort of late 2014. But when he did file his first ever 13F in late 2014 we saw that one of the very small number of positions in the fund was in Berkshire Hathaway and he uh, declared that he owned 379 Berkshire Hathaway Class A shares valued at the time at about $84 million. Norbert Lou did absolutely nothing with those shares until 2020, where he sold a modest amount a couple of times. So in the first quarter of 2020, he sold six of those 379 shares, uh, presumably to allocate that money to other investment opportunities. And in the second quarter of 2020, he sold 18 more shares. And still today, Norbert Lou's punch card capital owns a huge amount of Berkshire stock. So to me, this is a really interesting case study of someone who uh, went to buy one stock, got given shares in another stock, uh, continued holding those shares, and even though it wasn't his initial intention to buy Berkshire in this example, he still generated fantastic returns. Now if we assume that between the deal closing for Berkshire to buy BNSF and the first 13F that we get for Norbert Lou that uh, Norbert Lou didn't sell any, any of his Berkshire shares, uh, that would imply that he likely initially invested in Burlington Northern about $27.6 million. And again, looking at the share price of Burlington around that date, he probably paid about $60 per share uh, to, to build his initial position. By my maths, when the deal closed in early 2010, uh, Norbert Lou would have received about $42.5 million in Berkshire stock and about $3.45 million in cash. If we focus purely on the $42 million of Berkshire stock that he would have received at the time, uh, that has now grown today to a value of $161 million. So to give you a breakdown of the exact returns that Norbert Lou has likely captured here by making his uh, Burlington Northern investment initially and then just holding on to Berkshire shares for the long run, uh, about 92.5% of his invested capital uh, basically went on that journey, you know, 92.5% of the dollars that went into BNSF, uh, then received Berkshire shares and, you know, kind of continued to be held for a long time. Uh, so that represents about $25.5 million. That $25.5 million today is worth about $161 million. That's about a 6.3x return in 13 years, or about 15.2% compounded uh, over that time. On top of that, the remaining 7.5% of his capital that didn't receive Berkshire shares, uh, which is about $2.1 million, experienced a 67% gain uh, just in a single year because of that deal going through. Now for me, there are about four lessons here from this investment that Norbert Lou initially made in Burlington Northern Santa Fe. And it's a really interesting example of where things went probably a completely unexpected direction. Uh, in other words, he, he wanted to buy BNSF for the long term and he ended up holding on to Berkshire for the long term, which sure BNSF is a big component of Berkshire Hathaway today, but it's certainly not the whole business. But nonetheless, it still worked very well. So the first thing I've noted here is that Norbert Lou was actually quite right on the business and with his underlying kind of thesis of how things might play out and uh, what I mean by that is that free cash flow and operating margins did actually expand very significantly at Burlington and I'll put a chart up here kind of showing that so uh, yes revenue did grow but the free cash flow and the kind of owner earnings from Burlington likely have grown much faster than the uh, just top line revenue growth which is exactly what Norbert Lou thought was happening. 
Since Berkshire bought the company outright, it's paid over $40 billion in dividends. Secondly, and I don't know this for certain, but uh, I suspect that Norbert Lou probably got the initial investment idea simply from keeping an eye on what other investors, like in this case Warren Buffett, were purchasing. And uh, it kind of prompted him to look into the company. You know, a lot of investors will talk about cloning. I think this is probably a very good example of, uh, you know, cloning the uh, investment idea in terms of things to research, but not necessarily cloning the conviction level straight away. Uh, one of the the other things I've jotted down here is that there was a two-year time delay between Berkshire Hathaway buying into BNSF and Norbert Lou buying into BNSF. So cloning uh, other investment ideas can be a great way to find opportunities, but you do have to build your own conviction. And you can actually be quite patient and spend a fair bit of time, you know, doing your initial digging and research on a company before you make an investment. In this case, it took Norbert Lou, you know, a couple of years. Thirdly, Norbert Lou bought a business with a lot of positive kind of factors all working in his favor. He bought a business that had double digit revenue growth and had untapped pricing power and potential for growing operating margins, which was a theory Norbert Lou had and it turned out to be quite correct. Uh, he paid a modest valuation, about 11 or 12 times free cash flow, and it had pretty good capital allocation just purely by looking at something like the shares outstanding over time. They were pretty consistently repurchasing stock. And fourth and final, although unfortunately Norbert Lou did not get to hold BNSF for the long term and that opportunity was kind of taken away from him uh, in, a, in a lot of ways, he still benefited from one kind of the short term pop going from about $60 a share uh, with BNSF to about $100 per share where he um, kind of technically sold out of out of the business um, and, and got his payment in stock. Uh, but he did also benefit from, you know, the long-term gains of having the best capital allocator in the world and Warren Buffett working for him. And uh, I did the maths before actually, so Warren Buffett gets a salary of about $100,000 per year. That's about 6.8 cents per class A share per year. So, uh, you know, if you were to compare that to some sort of like mutual fund or hedge fund or something, that is just unbelievably cheap cheap and uh, you've got Warren Buffett doing it who's far better than probably any mutual fund or hedge fund manager in the world. So that is the story of Norbert Liu and BNSF and actually how he got to own his now quite substantial stake in Berkshire Hathaway. So I hope you enjoyed it. That is the second video in this three-part series on some of Norbert Liu's best investments. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel so that you can see future content as soon as I upload it. But that's it for me for this one and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.